In this video, we shall look at the top failed, abandoned, or unfinished mega projects in Grenada. Have you ever wondered what happens to grand ideas that never quite get off the ground? Grenada is a beautiful island nation with a fascinating history, but it also has its fair share of ambitious projects that never quite saw the light of day. From half-built resorts to abandoned airports, get ready as we count down the top failed, abandoned, or unfinished mega projects in Grenada. Number 8. Grenada Waste to Energy Plant Imagine a solution that tackles Grenada's waste management woes while generating clean energy. This was the promise of the Grenada Waste to Energy Plant. Waste to Energy technology turns garbage into energy that can be used, which can help reduce the need for landfills and provide electricity. This may have been a game-changer for Grenada. Still, there was a lot of opposition to the initiative. If the facility wasn't constructed and run in accordance with the strictest environmental regulations, worries were raised about the possibility of pollution of the air and water. Public confidence was also important. Some Grenadians were cautious about possible negative effects because of memories of environmental problems with previous development projects. The Grenada Waste to Energy Plant project is still on hold because of these worries. For such projects to proceed, it is imperative to strike a balance between creative ideas, environmental responsibility, and public trust. Number 7. Grenada Tech Park Imagine a hub buzzing with tech startups, a place where Grenada's brightest minds could develop innovative solutions and create new jobs. This was the vision behind the Grenada Tech Park. In addition to generating jobs, luring information technology, ed companies to the island would put Grenada at the forefront of the digital revolution. But silicon chips weren't the only thing that prepared the way for this digital cluster to emerge. Getting investors proved to be difficult. Despite its beauty, Grenada lacks some of its neighboring rivals' resources and established infrastructure. It takes a substantial financial commitment to provide co-working areas, dependable power supply, and the required high-speed internet connectivity. The Grenada Tech Park hasn't yet realized its full potential because of these obstacles. The initiative does, however, serve as a reminder of how technology can spur development, and Grenada is still working toward becoming a digital hub, albeit more slowly. Number 6. Grenada Chocolate Factory Expansion Rich volcanic soil and a beautiful climate make Grenada the ideal place to grow some of the most delicious cocoa beans in the world. Grenada chocolate has consequently grown to be a valued national asset, a source of pride, and a significant driver of the island's economy. A well-liked local enterprise, the Grenada Chocolate Factory has been producing delicious confections for many years. However, Grenada, which had its sights set on being well-known worldwide, planned to expand and build a larger facility to satisfy the growing demand for its delicious chocolate. Imagine a bustling factory, the aroma of freshly roasted cocoa beans filling the air. New production lines would churn out more chocolate bars, truffles, and cocoa nibs, allowing Grenada to claim a larger share of the international chocolate market. This expansion promised not just economic benefits, but also a chance to showcase Grenada's commitment to quality and craftsmanship on a global stage. Cocoa beans did not, however, pave the way for success in the chocolate industry. Getting money turned out to be a challenge. A major investment is needed to expand a manufacturing, and as a developing country, Grenada has trouble accessing big funding sources. Getting through the bureaucratic labyrinth was an additional hurdle. It can take a while to obtain permissions, follow rules, and get approvals from several government bodies. With these barriers in place, the development of the Grenada Chocolate Factory is still on hold. It's a lovely dream that will never come true. Number 5. The Green Grenada Project Grenada's gorgeous beaches, lush jungles, and brilliant coral reefs attract vacationers. Tourism is an important part of the island's economy. However, Grenada, with an eye on the future, envisioned a new type of tourism based on sustainability. The Green Grenada Project aims to make the island a leader in environmentally friendly tourism practices. Imagine solar panels covering hotels, cutting reliance on fossil fuels. Imagine gorgeous beaches free of plastic waste thanks to effective recycling systems. Consider how tourists might enjoy nature paths and undersea excursions while limiting their environmental impact. The Green Grenada Project sought to create a win-win situation by fostering a robust tourism business that coexists peacefully with the island's fragile ecosystems. However, developing a totally sustainable tourist business is a challenging task. 
Limited finance may limit investment in renewable energy infrastructure and waste management systems. Additionally, opposing priorities may exist. Balancing economic growth with environmental conservation necessitates meticulous planning and continuing work. The Green Grenada project continues, but the path to a truly sustainable tourism paradise necessitates commitment and new solutions. Number 4. Fish Processing Plant Upgrade Grenada's seas are teeming with a diverse array of fish, a treasure trove waiting to be discovered. The Grenadian fishing sector is crucial to the local economy, creating jobs and contributing to food security. However, obsolete fish processing facilities have hampered the industry's potential. Upgrading these facilities was seen as a solution. Consider a sophisticated processing factory equipped with cutting-edge technologies. Improved sanitation standards and efficient processing procedures would protect the quality and freshness of Grenadian fish. This, in turn, would open up new export markets, increasing the industry's profitability and providing more jobs for local fishermen. However, renovating a fish processing factory requires more than simply a fresh coat of paint. Technical obstacles occurred, including ensuring the new equipment met international food safety requirements and adhering to tight quality control measures. Securing finance was another challenge. Infrastructure upgrades require major investment and Grenada, like many other island governments, has limited access to large pools of finance. With these roadblocks cleared, the fish processing factory improvement project can move forward with more ease. Number 3. Calavini Point Development Project Consider Calavini Point, a lovely peninsula protruding out into Grenada's blue waters, transformed into a magnificent tourist destination. This was the vision for the Calavini Point Development Project, a huge resort development. Luxury hotels would line the coastline, providing breathtaking ocean views. Pristine marinas would welcome yachts, while casinos would give a hint of Vegas-style excitement. This initiative promised to significantly increase Grenada's tourism industry. However, the way to paradise was not covered in rose petals. Environmental issues were a significant barrier. Calavini Point has stunning coral reefs and marine environments. Critics said that large-scale building and increasing visitor activity would endanger this fragile habitat. Disputes over land ownership complicated matters further. Unresolved land disputes generated uncertainty for investors, making them hesitant to fund the project. Finally, issues were raised concerning the project's fiscal viability. Grenada, a gorgeous island, has severe competition from other Caribbean attractions. Investors needed to be convinced that a luxury resort complex on Calavini Point was a financially viable enterprise. Despite these challenges, the Calavini Point development project remains mainly unrealized, a reminder of the need to balance economic development with environmental protection. Number 2. Grenada Bypass Road Street George's, Grenada's capital city, is a vibrant hub, but traffic congestion can turn a charming stroll into a frustrating crawl. The Grenada Bypass Road project envisioned a solution, a new road that would divert traffic around the city center, easing congestion and improving travel times. Imagine a smoothly flowing bypass, allowing residents and visitors to navigate the island with ease. However, this dream of a smooth trip encountered several impediments. Funding limits were a significant impediment. Building a new bypass road is an expensive project, and raising the necessary cash proved difficult. Another challenge emerged, the environmental impact. The suggested bypass road routes may have sliced across rainforests and vulnerable watersheds. Protecting these essential ecosystems is a priority for Grenada, raising concerns about the project's environmental impact. The Grenada Bypass Road project is still on hold, highlighting the importance of careful planning and prudent infrastructure development. Number 1. Hillsborough Cruise Ship Berthing Facility Grenada's stunning scenery and rich culture make it a prime cruise ship destination. However, the existing cruise ship infrastructure limited the island's ability to accommodate larger vessels. The Hillsborough Cruise Ship Berthing Facility project sought to address this by building a new modern facility on Hillsborough Bay. Imagine larger cruise ships visiting Grenada, bringing in more guests and strengthening the local economy. However, obstacles occurred in the undersea realm. Hillsborough Bay is home to spectacular coral reefs and a rich marine population. Environmentalists voiced concern that the development and management of a new berthing facility might harm these fragile ecosystems. These issues prompted adjustments to the project's scope. 
finding a means to handle larger cruise ships while still conserving the underset ecosystem became a top goal. Discussions are ongoing to establish the best sustainable approach, highlighting Grenada's delicate balance between tourism development and environmental responsibility. So there you have it, folks, a glimpse into some of Grenada's most fascinating and unfortunate mega projects. If you enjoyed this countdown, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more awesome content. Also, stick around for the end screen where you can check out another video showing right now.